Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, my man Dan and I were talking about T2000s and the evolution of tennis rackets. And I was like, man, I wonder if or how a T2000 would play in today's world in graphite, though. You got to check this one out. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before I get going here, supporting my coffee for today, my coffee sponsor is Eric Lee. Thank you, Eric Lee. And Eric writes, being a DIY stringer and tinkerer, um, excellent tips. Get yourself a latte. Thank you, Eric. Latte from you. Thank you so much. All right. So if you want to support, sponsor my coffee habit, Network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Got new t-shirts in the house. Check out tennis spin USA.com. All right. So my man, Dan, my man, Dan, the mad tennis racket scientist, as you know, gave me those homemade rackets that were made out of solid graphite. And I was like, you know, the, the mono shaft one was super flexible. Um, the dual shaft one worked a lot better. So we were like, maybe a T2000, you know, with the dual shafts coming up on that little head would work great. So it would be kind of the modern day T2000, the modern day training tool. Hey guys, look who walked in. My man, Dan, the mad racket scientist. So Dan, tell me how you made this. Okay, thanks for asking, Harry, and uh, thanks for inviting me to your channel. Uh, I've got um, an old T2000 sitting on the shelf, and it's a little tough to play with. It's uh, heavy and, and kind of flexible. And so as I was making some carbon fiber rackets, I got the crazy idea to try to recreate a Wilson T2000 and make it a little lighter and a little stiffer. So I used a, uh, a thin piece of aluminum basically bent it by hand into the shape and I made a crossed piece of the aluminum and I put a rivet on each side to uh, hold that cross piece in there and then I wrap the whole thing in uh, a few layers of um, carbon fiber cloth which is uh, soaked in epoxy and then I tape that real tight with electrical tape to hold it all together um, instead of the old Wilson T2000 where they used a wire kind of wrapped around a string it I just drilled the holes in the traditional way uh, to string the racket. So uh, I thought this would be crazy. I don't. I didn't think this would work or hold up at all because it's so thin. Uh, and I took it out and it actually feels like a, a better, lighter, stiffer Wilson T2000. So Jimmy Connors, if you're watching, I'd love for you to try this racket. Thank you, Dan, for the explanation. Man, I, you spent a lot of work on this, huh? A little bit. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do now is just, just compare some specs. Real T2000. Yeah, 12.7, guys. Not horrible. 361. That's like Fed range. That's the olden day pro staff. Steel. Dan's creation. 361. Dan, what are you doing, Dan? 12.7. Dan, did you have your own quality control here as your own person, as your own judge? I bet you do, because I know how you are. Okay, 330, 330 on the mark. Three thirty. it's like seven, 337. At the scale, man, this feels good to have a nice clean T2000, nice new leather grip, 359. Let's check Dan's, 368. God, I keep hearing it. So I just want to show you, 
look, it's like two pieces of metal in here, and they have this plastic that basically is sandwiched to make this grip. You see the metal going down the side here, and then this plastic here and here. It's just sandwiched in and it kind of tied right here. And then there's a butt cap there. So it's basically uh, a jerry-rigged racket because it just keeps cr creaking in my hand. Um, I, I never really noticed it until today. Um, but let's take a quick look at the specs here. Weight, same. Dan did a great job there. Balance, obviously Dan's is going to be a little head heavier. Swing weight, head heavier. There's a lot more going to come through here. A lot more. Head weight is going to come over here. One quick thing. Look, look how thin that is. Look how thick that is. All right. Maybe be more flex or is there more flex in the steel? All right, so on the court, T2000, Dan's graphite overlay of metal, modern day T2000. Right, guys so coach goo and coach chris just hit with both of these rackets mm -hmm. and they obviously weren't born when that was around because nope. I mean, it was like 1978 or something oh, like that yeah, yeah. so I'm, yeah i wasn't even alive no, at all no no not even a thought yet nope. um coach chris is still looking at what you looking at dude I, anyways we should, we should be back in cancun with that racket i know you can see he's got tan he got tan Coach Q, what would you think of the rackets? Um, overall, this is not a bad racket for backhands, but for forehands, it was really rough to hit with this. I felt like I had to do the old school kind of like loop, loop and finish it go up top with this racket. But this racket actually, like, I mean, this is the originator. This feels great. I hit a modern forehand with this. This feels great as usual. Surprisingly good feel. Plows through the wall really nicely. Pockets it really nicely. I mean, 
This is actually a solid racket. I'm, I was really genuinely shocked how good this is. This one, on the other hand, it bends quite a bit, but you really need to drive through it or on the forehand side, really have to like loop it to make sure it has spin or it just gets over it. But I mean, really fun rackets to try, experiment around. Um, would I want to play with these again? Not really, but maybe the T, was it T2000? T2000. But the T2000, maybe, but it's really fun to play with. Got it. Coach Chris, talk to me. Um, very similar to what you were saying. I think this one definitely plays more. I can like it can handle more of the modern game. This one it was a little bit hard to hit through with the modern foreign and and back into as well. I think definitely playability wise, this one trumps this one. Um, and yeah, right. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. So I kind of understand what they're talking about. This frame is actually thicker through here oh, yes so it's a little more stiffer a little more stable um through the ball this is a little thinner as you can see so they it's probably a lot thinner. definitely flexing a yeah. lot you definitely have to catch it um perfectly with this even with the graphite in here it, it wasn't quite stiff enough to mm -hmm. to hold the ball and catapult it out of there as well as the steel one could i actually hit well with both of these i didn't mind you know my my straight back and straight through oh. strokes. Um, really, really, actually, I held a rally with, with this girl um, really well. Um, and I was pretty pretty shocked with both of these, though. So, um, but yeah, no, it was fun. I want It's fun. I want to thank my man, Dan, again, for uh, doing thanks, this Dan. for me. Yeah, thanks, Dan. All right, want to thank my man, Goo. Goo, where can I find you? You can find me at ag.tennis. I'll see you be posting content there as well. Thanks. Coach Chris, <laughs> where can I find you? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. And that's it. And that's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Tennis Spin fans. Want to support me? Well, check out my new t-shirts. I got my retro 90s rainbow connection on. Check out the Good Morning America, guys. All right, Good Morning Tennis Spin shirt over here. Got the traditional double liner just for you, half tennis ball, and my own traditional tennis spin from my beginning. All right, check out any of these on my site, tennisspinusa.com. Buy them there. Thank you.